Hello student, today we are going to discuss about the new topic that is cytology. So cytology is the branch of science which deals with the study about cell structure and function in detail. So cytology helps us to understanding how the cell are going to be functioning, what types of cell and types of its structure and how it's going to be function. So according to that, if we discuss the cytology, the cytology words comes from the Greek and the, means uh, the cytology is, comes from the Greek word and that is called uh, differentiated. The cytology term is differentiated into two words. One is uh, kytos and another is logos. And kytos means cells and logos means study. So cytology means cell study. So means study about the cell, how the cell are going to be organized, how the cell are going to function, how the uh, shape of the cell, what the uh, actually different types of cellular activity takes place within the cell, cellular trafficking, cellular uh, division, all type of activities that like the mitosis, meiosis, all things are going to be study within the cytology. So, so cytology helps us to give an idea about detail about the cell. So, the cytology topic in the cytology topic we are going to discuss about the basic outline at first that's robert hook in the year of 1665 robert hook in the year of 1665 find out the the honeycomb like structure within a cork cell so he cutting the cork cell and found there is a honeycomb like structure so and he explained that it is a cell like structure in the initially he, he explained that it is a comb or uh, later it, it was uh, known as the cell and so he is called as father of cytology so robert hook in the year of 1665 discuss or discover about the cell after that different worker coming and uh, explaining their view but one of them are Rodlov Virchow or Virchow Rodlov Virchow in the year of 1665 It means every cell, every cells arise from its pre-existing cell. So, Rolla Bhirchu coming he discuss about more about the study about the discuss more about the cell this study more about the cell and finally give an idea that uh, omnicellular e cellular so omnicellular e cellular means it means every cell every cell suppose it is suppose i am giving the example through which you can better understand suppose it is a air cell from which there is a production of two daughter cell we found this is B and this is C and the B and C cell are produced from the A cell it contain either same number of chromosomes just like the parent cell so these are the cell which are produced from a parent cell so it indicates that every cell in the nature we found whether it plant cell or animal cell which are existing now in the nature he is telling that that every cell are arise from a pre-existing cell so this is the basic idea about Rolno Virchow after that a cell theory actually proposed by Skilden and Swan a German botanist so two German botanist and zoologist so two German biologist actually we can say that two German biologist one is botanist and another is zoologist. Skilden Skilden and Swan 
Kerlin and Swan, 1839, in the year of 1839, propose cell theory. Cell theory means the theory which are going to explain about some basic nature of cell which are found in case of plant or in case of animal. That uh, one, one of the point about cell theory is, I am explaining here, uh, one is every cell cells arise from its pre-existing cell. Pre-existing cell. Number two. All the cells, that is, plant or anyone, all the cells contain similar chemical composition, similar chemical component. Similar chemical component means the plant cell can also contain protein, carbohydrate, lipid, and the animal cell also contain protein, carbohydrate, lipid. So these are the somehow similar types of chemical composition is present in case of plant cell or in case of animal cell. So this is the one of the point about cell theory. And every cell has the capacity to divide. Another point I'm explaining, not writing the board. So every cell has the capacity to divide and every cell contains the chromosome at the center that is within the nucleus. So this is the basic outline about the cell theory. Now I am going to discuss about the cell size, cell number, cell shape. So the cell size, if we look about cell size, there is two broad category means one is smallest cell, generally basic cell size are 0 0.2 to 20 mu. Generally basic cell size are 0 0.2 to 20 mu in diameter and, and uh, the smallest, smallest cell is PPLO or mycoplasma. PPLO means pleurop pneumonia like organism. So this is Pleurop pneumonia like organism, PPLO or mycoplasma. And these are the two important categories which comes under the smaller cell category. Means smaller cells are, if we anyone asks to you that what is the smaller cell in the environment or in our nature, these are the either PPLO or mycoplasma. And its, and its size is 0.1 mu. So this 0.1 mu is smaller than 0.2 mu. So, so these are the two important category of smaller cell. So this and the largest cell, largest cells, cell is ostrich, ostrich egg. And the ostrich egg size is six inch in diameter with cell cell means the white is outer covering in an egg all we know that in an egg the white is color this is cell so with cell the egg size or diameter is diameter is six inch and without cell this is three inch so this is the largest cell. So the question is coming that uh, the smallest cell is this. 
so we can write either the option is there either pplo or mycoplasma and if the size if the if telling that the smaller cell is mycoplasma and its size is dash so then we can write the 0.1 mu or the if the question is asking the largest cell is dash so if you uh, there is many option and one of the option contain that is ostrich egg so we put or you can put the answer ostrich egg and if the largest cell is ostrich egg and its size is dash then you can give the answer with cell 6 inch without cell 3 inch so this is the basic idea about cell size now I'm going to discuss about cell number So, so number of cell in our organism it vary the so number of cell within our organism is vary so we found there is different category of organism small microscopic organism to higher dinosaur like organism is found in our nature so the number of cell may be either unicellular means your number is one or single cell so your number is one or single cell and number two is multi cellular or many cell more than one then we can say many more than more than two or three four five six seven so many cells are unit to form a multicellular structure and unicellular means a single cell and it contains a nucleus and all the cellular activity is performed within a single cell. So unicellular organism example is diatoms, unicellular organism and, and diatoms are, and diatom cell number is one and or another is yeast single cell made up of single cell and uh, so the number is each cell number is one or datum cell number is one and in case of multicellular organism whatever the organism which we found now in the nature or uh, like um, large size in structure body structure just like the eukaryote or uh, there may be plant or maybe anyone they are comes under multicellular category cell size cell number now going to discuss about cell shape. The shape of the cell is going to be very. So shape, if we look, the shape of a cell is going to be very. Suppose it is a cell. It is a cell. It is. It is a cell. So there is different types of cell structure we found different types right so shape of the cell are vary from organism to organism or within the same organism within the same organism or maybe different organism the cell shape is going to be vary so it vary why it is going to be vary because according to their function according to their position within the body of an organism they are perform different function different so according to different function according to different body position their structure may be changed so the shape may be also be changed so shape may be spherical may be polygonal may be cuboidal may be triangular so it may be vary from different shape so shape of the cell may be changed just like the amoeba the shape, cell shape is going to be changed all the times so this is all about the cell shape size structure and basic idea about cell chain i hope this video is helpful to you if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you